today or part of our daily day is going to be mapping out what's going to happen or how can we support everyone that's working from home and ensure the workflow um, that has to do with communications and pretty much servicing our clients stays intact. So we have some, uh, some people working from home. There's going to be a lot of that happening throughout the week as we see things progress uh, day by day. So we are taking it day by day. We're actually planning um, ahead for, for a couple of months. So, so that's about it. Uh, stay tuned for more tips on how to advertise through these times and uh, I'll catch you guys later. So I just finished up our first uh, virtual Monday kickoff. Um, it's a bit different than, than really standing in front of the entire crowd. So uh, we had about 40 people from the fulfillment team join, uh, both the ones that are currently still working in the office and the ones that are working from home. In this week's kickoff, we spoke about uh, the wrap up of Q1, uh, some of the things that we will uh, continue on focusing on in Q2, and also some of the strategies that have been uh, very successful throughout these times for, uh, for some of our customers. For me, it's important that we still all connect, especially so that we can share best practices. What are some success stories that we've seen from, uh, from some of our customers? through these uh through these uncertain times so yeah i think it went very well for being the first time in our next session uh, you'll be able to learn more about the sharks of the month and our go for gold contest winner who's gonna go on a trip to south carolina for uh for four days completely sponsored by microsoft so stay tuned i'm excited uh for uh, for that announcement Hey guys, I'm the content writer for the Academy by Watchshark Media. My name is Maria and I'm currently working from home. This is my workstation right here. It's just me and the dining table at the end of it, so I get no interruptions, not even from my dog. Currently, we've been working on some courses that are designed specifically for agencies. It's gonna be a complete guide for agencies to be able to service PPC to their clients, onboard them, report to them, retain them, all of that stuff. It's really exclusive content, so I shouldn't be sharing this with you right now. But right now I'm working on the reporting course and we're really excited to be releasing this because it will be a guide to guide for agencies that don't know how to service to PPC clients or would like to improve their already established process within their own agencies. And I've been working with our other content writers to proofread and edit so we can release this content as soon as possible. This guide is gonna be a complete guide for agencies. So why should meet a partners? You're in luck because you're definitely gonna be in that package. I'm gonna to continue to work on this because I'm supposed to be releasing this one by today. So wish me luck and see you later. Stay tuned. Okay. Hello, I'm here working from home today. Uh, she's my daughter, Ana Sofia. As you know, all schools are closed, so she's been homeschooled. So while she's doing her homework, I'm working on all the content that we're producing for our partners and clients. We're helping them in any way we can, and one of the different things that they have asked for support is in creating collateral for uh, retaining purposes or just to keep their clients informed on the current situation. So we've been doing a lot of that and looking forward to go back to the office and work with the team as we used to do it two weeks ago. See you around. Jorge, you know, half of my team is working from home right now, and I just want to make sure that we keep the team dyna dynamic that we have, um, at just as if they were here in the, in the office. Um, usually at the beginning of the weeks, you know, we have kickoff sessions just to make sure that everybody is on the same page, we know which clients we have to prioritize, um, you know, because right now we have this situation with the COVID-19 and we just want to make sure that we're there for our clients, and that's why, you know, we seek up. We, try to make sure that come up with innovative solutions because we want business to stay afloat. You know, that's basically what I, what I was doing with partner right now. We just um, brainstorming on, you know, what is that we're gonna do next with some of his clients. And, and you know, just follow up on the regular day-to-day -day activities. Um, I'm gonna be doing that basically with each of my strategies that are, that are working from home. Um, just to sure that, you know, we have the same dynamic that we have here in the office, you know, co coaching whatever is possible 
and you know providing them with an additional set of eyes in terms of strategies. What is it that we can provide to our clients, um, especially in these circumstances? One down and seven more to go. manager my team we were discussing some strategies to support our, our clients in these difficult times in this case we talked about SEO and the benefits that they will receive from it as you can see I'm working from home and so are many of my team members when it comes to our clients we have been working on building some strategies for industry to know what we can do in order to decrease the impact that COVID-19 is having in their companies. I just had a call like earlier in the morning with one of my clients and he was sharing with me like new clients, for example, only or new customers. The volume, as we can expect, has been increasing. So I was just, just sharing with him some research that I found in his, for his industry and also some immediate actions that we could take in in his campaign so yeah that's been me working from home just adapting this in process but still taking care of my clients so thank you hey everyone um hope you're staying safe hope you're staying at home my name's nicole and i'm here to share with you guys a little bit about my experience working from home and my experience creating new strategies to adapt to our current situation with the coronavirus outbreak. Many of the industries that we work closely with have been affected right now and what we're working alongside is finding how we can keep the business afloat during the situation, using all the resources we have and still helping those around us. In particular, I work very closely with the transportation industry and something that we encountered was any client you know that has airport rides for example right now is experiencing an incredible drop in traffic with all the flight cancellations so with this we said okay we have a drop in people that need rides so what else can we find and what we came up with is you know we thought a little bit outside the box and said maybe we shouldn't focus on who needs a ride, but maybe what needs to be transported. So what we are working on right now really is finding ways to use the resources and logistically map out if it's possible for us to use the staff, for us to use the, the fleet of cars to and transform airport rides to delivery services. The way that this would be implemented is by contacting all those local restaurants who are still active and are still working but they're only working with delivery to contact um, people in your neighborhood family members and say hey do you know anyone that needs consistent rides consistent transportation of goods whether it's groceries whether it's medicine or whatever you may need to transport from one house to another from the supermarket if you know someone have them reach out to us so in that way, we can build, you know, weekly deliveries for someone who isn't, who maybe cannot leave their house, or if someone needs to send something to their grandma but they can't visit her because, right now, we want to take all the precautions. That's okay. You can leave it at your doorstep. We'll pick it up, take it to the other spot, and with that, we're developing all the ideas we can, and we're working together to see how we can maximize right now, and how we can keep advertising, stay relevant, and stay afloat while still helping those around us during this time. And I encourage everyone that's um, watching this right now to do that. If you're a business owner, if you're an account manager, um, whoever you may be, if you know a business owner and they're struggling with knowing how to adapt with their transportation services right now, that may be a great idea. Um, this is still a work in progress for us. We're working on a proper strategy and proposal for, for our clients, but so far um, it's good to get the conversation going. So I hope everyone is taking all the necessary precautions out there and I hope that you're all washing your hands and stay tuned. It's been a busy week. Um, we have a lot of, uh, of our strategists uh, working from home this week. 
Um, here at the office, uh, we've been following up on making sure that we stay on top of all of the latest trends. We have been monitoring data from our own portfolio very closely to understand how is it that uh, customers and consumers are currently behaving, how can we adapt to that and how can we really get the most out of it for all of our customers and which recommendations can we make in terms of their, uh, their digital marketing strategy. So when it comes to, to our agency partners, uh, we've been jumping on a lot of conference calls this week um, to provide them with all of the insights, the recommendations uh, and the observations that we've had for, uh, for different industries. We've had a really positive response from that. Um, so we'll continue on doing that. We'll continue on staying on top of the latest trends uh, and provide you guys with, uh, with all of the information. Stay tuned for any of the content that, uh, that we will be publishing. So hey guys, uh, I just had a call with uh, one of my partners. Uh, they work in the furniture industry. Uh, we identified a lot of things. I guess right now the, the most important thing is just to uh, focus on what's really working and just switching a little bit the strategy. And uh, part of the things is of course, we no longer have people going to the stores. Everybody has to stay home. Uh, so that of course makes you to search for stuff online. You're spending more time on your, I don't know, on your social media, uh, reading the news, or everything. It's everything that you're used to do in a regular day, you're now doing it from the internet. So uh, that's of course, if you're doing that now from home, a lot of people are starting to walk, working from home. So uh, kind of the strategy that we're following right now, I know if you can see this graph, is just to understand what's really on the home office furniture, part of the furniture industry. So. Uh, we decided to just focus on that stuff. If there's a lot of people that are now working from home, then of course they are looking for, I don't know, you know, desks, computers and stuff. So uh, we can see that on the graph as well. And we showed that to our, to our partners that that will be the focus for this time. And also since we're not seeing a lot of competition uh, on, on Google Ads and Microsoft as well, uh, we're seeing now a, a decrease on the CPCs. So that's also another benefit. Right now we can get more traffic at a lower price and we're also adding another layer of strategy which is focusing one specific segment which is the home office furniture. Uh, so that was the plan of, plan of action right now for, for this partner. Um, we think we have a solid strategy, we think it's going to go well. And I also hope that everybody that stayed home uh, are doing all the necessary actions to just you know get through this outbreak and get the best out of it. So uh, I'm going to another call right now with a different partner so I just um, Couple kind of following the same uh, structure. So that was it, and see you guys around. Hi, so this week I've been working from home. I'm currently working on different proposals for partners. We're taking into consideration the situation we're going through right now and how it might affect every business on our proposals as well. For example, I just wrote up a proposal where we recommended our prospect to consider advertising for disinfection services because even though this is not the main service they offer, it's highly valuable and helpful not only during this time but in the future when we overcome the situation. We want to make sure we can pop with the same quality in every proposal we create to keep helping our partners and clients as we always do. So this week we've been focusing our efforts to support our partners, uh, support them with their existing workflow. A lot of them are having to send people to work from home, productivity is dropping in some cases. So we're trying to invest as much time as possible in building custom content for them that helps them have a healthier conversation with their with their end advertisers and also we're providing support from the team. Uh, we're helping actually in some things that we don't usually work on or we don't usually help on, but we're trying to go the extra mile to make sure that our partners are not suffering um, too much from the current situation and we've been able to have some success also with helping partners identify opportunities that are coming up in this particular situation. We're seeing a lot of surges in a lot of verticals and industries so we want to make sure that we're there and that they have the right information so they can actually work on those particular industries and situations. So it's a busy week. The entire team is, is working very hard to make sure that we support our partners so I actually have a meeting right now upstairs with Alec. We're going to be talking with 
uh, a potential partner that we've been talking on for a while and uh, we're actually talking a lot about the support and the extra pair of hands that they need to be able to sustain all the work and all the conversations that are coming their way. So, it's a busy week, but we're doing a lot of progress.